A new documentary about disgraced Hollywood film producer Harvey Weinstein highlights not only his predatory behavior with young women, but also the people in the industry who enabled and protected him. You know, as I look at that picture, I'm going, really? This is, this is, this is the Casanova that, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, uh, more, more like a, a phantom of the opera. I mean, you know, you <laughs> walk into a room with this guy, and unfortunately, uh, Horrific. so many people did that. What's the gist of this film? Well, so there's this new documentary, of course, that's out talking about how basically Hollywood and the surrounding in industry was just his hunting grounds. He was a legitimate predator. They interviewed some dozen women who essentially get the same story about how they he promised them these amazing life-changing career opportunities but hey you got to come talking about it at, you know at a meeting at my hotel and oh by the way it's up in my room and then he forces himself on them and they're either they either acquiesce out of fear or physical fear for their safety or out of fear for being blackballed or you know from the industry mm. so it's a, a predatory pattern but they also highlight a couple of other things about the system that essentially enabled him whether it was at Miramax and you had a few employees that would step forward and say, sure, we saw it, we knew it had a whole environment of harassment, but we didn't want to lose our job, so we didn't say much, to a couple of the employees at Miramax who did speak up and talk about the atmosphere, and they did, you know, officially lodge the, There's, the, But there's another, an extension of that part yes. of it. The extension is that you had uh, corporate media, MSNBC, NBC, it. ABC, CBS, they wouldn't tell these stories either. That's right. And because of this, it's almost a fraternity this corrupt little fraternity that we're going to protect our own. And he, of course, was at the top of his game, you absolutely. know, with the Tarantino movies. And mm -hmm. uh, he was just absolutely top of his game. And then so so the the media industry itself charmed themselves into saying, no, we don't we don't really believe this. Well, they did believe it. A, they knew about it. They'd been told all the stories. The people that were telling the stories were completely credible. But they said, we're not going to do this kind of for the same reason they say to an advertiser, you know, we're not going to tell the story that's going to hurt you. That's this exactly is the same right. problem. Yeah, and we saw it again and again, didn't we, with other high-powered media figures, whether it was Roger Ailes or Charlie Rose or you just, you name it. They had other people around them that were protecting them from these allegations. But, you know, as you and I have talked about before, I was a reporter for many years in covering courts and crime, and you did cover a lot of the same people, and you did hear part of the whisper chain, if you will, or the telephone game of, who those people allegations were behind the scenes that they were grabby or they shouldn't be approached or mm. they had reputation for mm. being offensive but there was never anybody that would come on the record and give their name or you know so i that that was what this film brought to light was that there were a, a general knowledge within the media that these accusations existed but there was a real resistance probably from people that were higher level and more in power to really following up some of the reporters boots on the ground including this one guy for the new yorker ken Aletta talked about a 2002 profile he did of Weinstein where he was unable to include any abuse allegations that he had partially confirmed. He'd found a victim, but she didn't want him to use her name. And then, of course, Weinstein denied the allegations. So it's easy for the editor to say, OK, well, we're not going to follow through with it. But that's what I thought was so brilliant about Ronan Farrow's piece when he broke his story mm. in The yeah, New as Yorker. Difficult, as difficult as it was to do. Right. MSNBC wouldn't cover it. That's NBC right. wouldn't cover it. He had all the goods. He said, here it is. Right. Everybody who else looked at everybody who looked at his story except MSNBC right. said, yeah, this is real. You've given us enough information. Yes. Let's go with it. And they, and you know, when you have a person who, even if they don't want you to use their name, if they're willing to take other legal steps that would ensure that what they're telling you is to the best of their knowledge true, there are ways to tell this story. And what I feel like is great about this film, Untouchable, is that they highlighted how there was so much acquiescence and gave specific examples, not just with uh, Mr. Aletta, but other other um, incidents where Weinstein openly yelled a nasty word at a reporter at a party and then grabbed her journalist boyfriend in a headlock and punched him on top of the head. There were pictures of it, but supposedly these reporters never saw the pictures and it was never published. Uh, again, I can't get away from this photograph. What a nightmare. Now, you, you, your daughter, it's a nightmare. your sister, your mother has got to confront this person before they can get a job. They got to walk into a room with this this character. I know. Who denies everything. Yeah. What's the status of Weinstein's ongoing court case right now? That's going to be an interesting story for us to follow, too, I think, because so much of the hashtag Me Too movement is tied up into whether he's held accountable in law. But as you know, those are sticky cases, if you will. They're not always easy to prove. So he's facing five criminal charges right now that stem from allegations in 2006 of basically forcing himself on a woman and then 2000. 
13, uh, a rape accusation of a woman in a hotel room. So mm. there have been petitions. I think another charge has been, a, tra a charge before this had been dropped. So these are the ones that are moving do, forward. Do me a favor. Make sure we follow this as yes. it develops. Okay? His trial is this year. We'll do that. Okay. Thank you, Molly. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for joining me.